Hi everyone. Welcome to this edition of Along the Forest Apps Road. I'm Tim Hard. I'll be your host for this episode and we're going to be discussing the boring back cut. Once you've completed the first four areas of information on your felling plan, it's time to choose a back cut to fall the tree. You may choose to simply start from the back of the tree and cut to the holding wood or hinge, or you might bore cut through the tree, set up your hinge, then cut backwards to release the tree. Yes, there are several other configurations of cuts that could be made to conclude the process. You could cut the good side, then the bad side, from back to hinge, or hinge to back. You could bore and circle the tree with the back cut. But what is or are the advantages of a bore cut over the simple back cut? When asked the question of the advantages of the bore cut, I usually explain that the only negative to the bore cut that I know of, if it is one, is the understanding of the reactive forces, especially the one of kickback. And I really believe that anyone who operates a chainsaw should understand that one completely. Really, if you understand that reaction, there are no negatives, only positives. Knowing how to begin the cut with the lower portion of the bar tip and quickly burying the tip in the process eliminates the issue when you think about it. So let's list some positives. First, it reduces the chances of the tree trunk barber chairing in heavy forward lean. It allows for a planned hinge holding wood dimension to be better achieved makes it possible to cut larger trees with multiple position, side-to-side -side cuts. It improves capabilities of using a shorter saw bar length on larger trees. In smaller back leaning trees, it gives the ability to place wedges before setback. It controls the release of the tree when there are or may be widow makers or broken tops. It gives more escape time from trees with vine issues. It offers better footing and escape from trees in steep or slippery terrain. It reduces fiber pull on the stump by allowing more accurate hinge completion. It offers the ability to locate hollows and rot areas in the tree trunk. It enables better controlled release of the tree should there be traffic or people around. And last, number 12, it eliminates some issues with tops swaying or wind affecting the release of the tree. There are probably more as I sit and think, and there are also several advantages working with bore cuts on horizontal storm damage trees. The bore cut is not boring, but very useful and productive. So you can check out other articles on bore cuts at www.forestapps.com. And if you're interested in finding out more of Forest Applications training, send us an email at info at and please also check out our podcast series on most of the podcast suppliers. It's along the Forest Apps Road. And please check out the rest of our videos as we have many topics that are covered. We hope you find something here today that interests you, that you learn something and may be able to use it in your future sawing tasks. I'm Tim Ard. Thanks for dropping by this edition of Along the Forest Apps Road, and I wish you good sawing.